the compassionate, the merciful. Praise be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, and may his peace and blessings be upon his beloved Prophet. QuranNow.com is pleased to introduce the story of Prophet Joseph, peace be upon him, in the Holy Quran. The CD includes a recitation in Arabic of the verses in chapter 12 from the Holy Quran entitled Joseph, followed by English translation. The Arabic recitation will be on even number tracks, while English translation will be on odd number tracks. This CD is part of a series of selected Quranic recitations intended to make the Quran more accessible. Please visit QuranNow.com for more information about the Quran. Now, the recitation. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام را تلك آيات الكتاب المبين إنا أنزلناه قرآنا عربيا لعلكم تعقلون نحن نقص عليك أحسن القصص بما In the name of Allah, the compassionate, the merciful. Alif Lam Ra. These are the verses of the book that makes things clear. We have revealed this Quran in the Arabic language so that you may understand. We relate to you the best of stories through this Quran by our revelation to you, O Muhammad, though before this you were one of those who did not know. This is the narrative of that time when Joseph said to his father, O my father, in a dream I saw eleven stars, the sun and the moon. I saw them prostrate themselves before me. He replied, O my son, do not say anything about this dream to your brothers, lest they plot an evil scheme against you. For Satan is an open enemy to human beings. It will happen as you have seen in your dream that you will be chosen by your Lord for his work. He will teach you how to interpret visions and will perfect his favor upon you and the children of Jacob as he perfected it upon your forefathers, Abraham and Isaac before you. Surely your Lord is knowledgeable, wise. لقد كان في يوسف وإخوته آيات للسائلين إذ قالوا ليوسف وأخوه أحب إلى أبينا منا ونحن عصبة ونحن عصبة إن أبانا لفي ضلال مبين اقتلوا يوسف أو اطرحوه أرضا يخل لكم وجه أبيكم وتكونوا, وتكونوا من بعده قوما صالحين قال قائل منهم لا تقتلوا يوسف وألقوه في غيابة الجب 
الجبه والقوه في غيابه الجب يلتقطه بعض السياره ان كنتم فاعلين قالوا يا ابانا ما لك لا تامنا على يوسف وانا له لناصحون ارسله معنا غدا يرتع ويلعب وانا له لحافظون قال اني لاحزنني ان تذهبوا به واخاف ان ياكله الذئب وانتم عنه غافلون قالوا لئن اكله الذئب ونحن عصبه انا اذا لقاسرون فلما ذهبوا به واجمعوا ان يجعلوه في غيابه الجب واوحينا بأنهم بأمرهم هذا وهم لا يشعرون وجاءوا أباهم عشاء يبكون قالوا يا أبانا إنا ذهبنا نستبق وتركنا يوسف عند متاعنا فأكله الذئب وما أنت بمؤمن لنا ولو كنا صادقين وجاءوا على قميصه بدم كذب قال بل سولت لكم أنفسكم أمرا فصبر جميل والله المستعان على ما تصفون وجاءت سيارة فأرسلوا والدهم فأدلى دلوه قال يا بشرى هذا غلام وأسروه بضاعة والله عليم بما يعملون وشروه بثمن بخس دراهم معدودة وكانوا فيه من الزاهدين Indeed, in the story of Joseph and his brothers, there are signs for inquirers. This is how the story begins. His stepbrothers held a meeting and said to one another, Joseph and his brother Benjamin are loved more by our father than us, even though we are a group of ten and can help him more than them. In fact, our father is clearly mistaken. Let us kill Joseph or throw him out to some far off land so that the attention of our father turns exclusively towards us. After that, we may again become righteous people. At this one of them said, do not kill Joseph, but if you must, throw him into some dark well, so that he may be picked up by some passing caravan. After this meeting, they asked their father, O oh, our father, why is it that you do not trust us with Joseph? though we are his sincere well-wishers. Send him with us tomorrow, that he may play and enjoy himself. We shall take good care of him. Their father said, I will be worried if you take him away, for I fear lest a wolf should eat him up while you are off guard. They said, If a wolf could eat him despite our number, then surely we would be worthless people. When after such persistence, they were able to take him away, they resolved to throw him into a dark well. We revealed this to Joseph. A time will come when you will admonish them about this act of theirs. Now they do not perceive its consequences. At nightfall, they returned to their father weeping. They said, oh, our father, we went off to compete in racing with one another and left Joseph by our belongings and a wolf ate him. But you will not believe us even though we are telling the truth. As proof, they brought his shirt stained with false blood. No, he cried, your souls have tempted you to evil. I need good patience. Allah alone can help me against that which you assert. 
On the other side, a caravan passed by and sent a water carrier who let down his bucket into the well. Seeing Joseph in it, he shouted with joy, Good news! I found a young boy! They concealed him like trade merchandise. Allah knew what they did. They brought him to Egypt and sold him for a petty price, a few silver coins. They had such a low estimation of him. وقال الذي اشتراه من مصر لامرأته أكرمي مثواه عسى أن 